Hey guys, it's Yuta. So, I think many people believe that living in Japan is very expensive, but I don't think it's actually as expensive as many people believe. So, I asked my audience who lives in Japan to share how much they spend a month exactly. But first, let's talk about the conversion rate because it's actually pretty easy to get an approximate dollar amount if you use this very simple conversion rate of 100 yen for a dollar. So if you have a price in Japanese yen, you just get rid of two zeros and boom, it's in US dollars. And it's actually a little cheaper because one dollar is usually a little more expensive than 100 yen. The next thing you should know is that your cost of living will be very different depending on which area in Japan you live in. For example, Tokyo and around are way more expensive than any other parts of Japan. So this person pays 93,000 yen or about $930 for his flat in central Tokyo. But this person pays 64,000 yen for a similar sized flat in Osaka city. So outside the Tokyo area, you can get a bigger place for much less. And also within Tokyo, where exactly you live makes a huge difference. So this line in green is Yamanote line, which is the most important line in Tokyo. And inside of this line is more expensive than outside. And within inside, the southern half is more expensive than the northern half. The first example that we saw belongs to this southern half. Another example of this southern half is this person who pays 78k for a 20 square meter flat. By the way, if you think 20 square meter is small, it's actually pretty decent for Tokyo's standards. Having said that, most people who live in the Tokyo area don't really pay 78k or $780 per month because they don't live in central Tokyo. And many people who live in Tokyo don't really live in Tokyo, but they live in other prefectures around. And it's pretty common to take up to like an hour to get to your workplace. So northern Tokyo is pretty popular and there's actually many foreigners who live there. Some also live on the west side of Tokyo and also the northern part of Kanagawa prefecture or the southern part of Saitama or the western part of Chiba. Those places are pretty popular and not too far from central Tokyo. So let's see some examples. This person lives in western Tokyo and only pays 42k per month. It's pretty far from the center, but it's still Tokyo and it only takes about half an hour to get to Shinjuku by train. And Shinjuku is one of the main stations in Tokyo and it's the busiest station in Tokyo. And this person lives in northern Kanagawa and pays 63k a month. And again, it probably takes about half an hour to get to central Tokyo. So 63k or about $600 is a pretty realistic amount if you are willing to spend maybe a couple of hundred dollars per month for the transportation. Now, Let's talk about living in a share house or a dormitory because that's also a viable option if you're willing to share your space. And this person lives in Shinjuku, which is a very central area and pays 42k for his dormitory. And this person lives in Bunkyo Ward, which is the northern part of Tokyo and pays 35k for his share house. So those people are students, right? And if you have a student visa in Japan, you are actually allowed to work up to 28 hours per week. And if you have a part-time job in Tokyo, you can easily get paid a thousand yen per hour. So if you work 20 hours per week, you can make 80k per month. Now this is not a lot for the Japanese standards, but if you live in a dorm, you can actually get by. Alright, so let's talk about how much people spend on food. Now this histogram shows the most common amounts that people spend. And as you can see, 
Most people spend between 20k and 30k per month for food. And I think this is a realistic amount if you mostly cook because this translates to about a thousand yen per day. And as for going out, apparently the most common amount is about 10,000 yen per month. And this doesn't seem too expensive to me because going out in Tokyo can be pretty expensive. If you eat some dinner, sing karaoke, and have a few drinks, you can easily spend about 5,000 yen a night. But of course, there's ways to save money and there's a lot of free stuff in Tokyo. So I think people manage to not spend too much money when they go out. So, all things considered, if you want to live in the Tokyo area, you will probably need a little more than 100k per month for the basic stuff. But obviously, there's always something you need to spend your money on. You may want a phone, you may want to go to the gym, you may want to buy some furniture. So I think a realistic amount will be something like 150k a month if you want to live in Tokyo by yourself. But if you don't mind living in a share house or in a dorm, you can probably get by with less than 100k per month. So before I go, let's talk about living outside the Tokyo area. This person lives in Akita, which is in the northern part of Japan, and only spends 50k for a 35 square meter flat. This person lives in Nagano, which is a mountain region, and spends about 67k for 55 square meter. Lastly, this person lives in Nagoya, which is a pretty big city as well, but only pays 35k for the space. And it's just 14 square meters, so it's pretty small. And I think it's without a private kitchen or bathroom. But for the price, I think it's a pretty good deal. So, now you have a pretty good idea of how much you need if you want to live in Japan. And if you're from expensive places like North America or Northern Europe, I think living in Japan is not that expensive after all. But at the same time, it's not that cheap for Japanese people either if you consider how much people make. This is the median salary by age. If you are in your late 20s, half the people make above 270k per month. And after paying taxes and insurance, you will have more or less 215k or about 2200 US dollars. And with this kind of salary, you probably won't be able to save much even if you're single. And if you have kids, it's not gonna be easy. And this is just full-time employees, but a large number of people are actually non-full-time employees and they earn much less. And in terms of housing price to income ratio, Japan ranks 62nd. But I'm actually curious, so in the comment section, let me know where you live and how much you spend a month. But if you want to live in Japan, I think it's best that you learn Japanese and I can send you some free Japanese lessons by email. And I recently made free basic pronunciation lessons and free very basic grammar lessons. So click the link and join my email group, Japanese with Yuta. And see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.